Hey, hi, how are we? Welcome back to the channel. So as some of you are aware, I chucked this little photo up on my Instagram last night. Let's talk weight loss, diet, training, fitness, etc. Drop your questions below and I'll answer them in a QA and a on YouTube in 24 hours. And the response of this was mind blowing. I got 160 different questions and I'm gonna read them out and answer the questions for you guys about weight loss and what I did. So let's get started, hey? Before I start on the questions, I thought I'd just give you a little bit of background info on what I did. So I competed in an eight week challenge, which was hosted by F45, weighing at 102 kilos to looking like this, weighing at 86 kilos. So in the whole eight weeks, I lost 16 kilos all up, which was all fat. I didn't lose any muscle and I put on muscle. Blown away with my results and it worked out at losing about two kilos a week, uh, which some people would say that was unhealthy. But I'm going to share with you guys how I did it so it was healthy. Okay, the first question. What diet did you do with F45? So the diet that I did with F45, they provide you with the diet so you can follow but I didn't necessarily follow the diet they provided me with, an idea of what I ate. So for breakfast, I would eat bacon and eggs with no bread. So I tried to cut out carbs completely, as in like bread and pasta, for example, but I had other carbs like in sauces and stuff as well. So for breakfast, I would have bacon and eggs. For lunch, I would have like grilled chicken and frozen veggies, like just green veggies, like beans, broccoli, and snow peas or something. Dinners, I'd have either chicken and veg again, or meat and veg. Um, but for the first two weeks, what I did was I had no caffeine, um, I had a lot of green teas, and then I had no red meat as well. So for the first two weeks, I only had white meat and veggies. I could say you could eat fish as well, but I didn't eat seafood, so that I didn't have, um, but that would work as well. Okay. Um, did you do much cardio for the weight loss, or mainly weights? I was training at F45, and the way F45 works is, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays are cardio sessions. They run for 45 minutes. Tuesdays and Thursdays were weight sessions. So I would go every day, so it would be three cardio days and two weight days. So I wasn't necessarily doing much weight training. I was doing more cardio training, but weights are involved in those cardio days as well. It wasn't mainly hip lifting heavy, but it was cardio based, you could say. Um, but saying that, I could see an improvement in my muscle gain and the the amount of weight I could lift during that time. As well as training at F45, I did a lot of outdoor walking, running. I tried to do three kilometers every second day. In the Illawarra area, I did Sublime Point quite a lot. There was a period where I was doing it probably every second day to nearly every day. That helped heaps as well. Okay, the next question. Um, F45, worth the time and money. 100%. F45 is about 50 bucks a week, $55 a week, and I would 100 and 10% recommend F45. Be not motivated at all to do a class, but just walking in there, the trainers will pump you up, the music pumps you up. Like you kinda have to do what they tell you to do. So you just end up getting a really good workout if you're motivated or not motivated. How did you do it? I stayed motivated. Did the challenge with the goal that I wanted to lose weight because I was very unhappy with the way I looked. I got to a really low point that I wasn't happy with the way I looked and I wanted to see change. Instead of having a big end goal that I thought could be unreachable, I created little mini goals throughout the week to reach that end goal. So I didn't snack, which was one of the big things. I just ate breakfast, lunch, and dinner. If I was hungry, I would have some fruit or veg in between. I would do a cup of veg every now and then or just have a green tea and that helped heaps. But the goal was to train every day and eat really healthy and try not to snack. So the weekly goal I would make would be like, I want to lose two kilos this week. And then I would train and eat healthy in the hopes to lose that. And if you keep your head down and stay motivated with thinking of the end goal, but wanting to achieve these little goals in between, that makes all the difference as well. What kept you motivated to keep going? I kind of just answered that like... I wanted to see change. I was really unhappy in the way I looked and I wanted to, to make a difference. In the mindset was just like, I wanna see a difference. I wanna be ripped for summer. Like I wanna look good. I wanna lose this weight. Like I don't wanna be the fat kid anymore. I wanna be that skinny kid. Um, so that was my motivation as well. Alrighty, so the next question. I can't gain any muscle at all. How do I do it? In my challenge, I, my goal wasn't to gain muscle but I have gained muscle in the past. And what I did in the past to gain muscle was I ate more more healthy stuff, just bigger portions, um, and did a lot of heavy lifting, weight lifting style training. I probably wouldn't be the best person to go off putting on muscle because I didn't really put on too much muscle. The goal was to lose weight for me. 
How did you lose weight quickly? I was determined to lose weight quickly. I didn't snack. I was so determined to lose weight. That's why I lost it quickly because I worked hard. What's the best way to lose belly flat, belly fat? I found losing belly fat, I've still got belly fat on me at the moment, but the best way to lose belly fat was running and doing ab workouts. Try and just do a little like 10 minute ab workout a day, just walking and running as much as possible. If you want to listen to like a podcast, go for a walk and listen to a podcast. Just don't lay on your bed and listen to it. Or like if you want to watch a Netflix series or an episode, just like watch it on a treadmill instead of sitting down and watching it. It just works more on your feet, just will work out a lot better for you. How do I lose weight? You gotta be ready to lose weight. I've done a lot of weight loss challenges where I wasn't ready to lose weight. But if you're determined and ready to lose weight, you'll lose weight. You just have to stick to it. Trust me, it'll work. If you stick to it, it'll work. You're changing it for you. You gotta do it for yourself. Um, it'll take a while for you to start to see results. Like it took me a while, but if you keep to it, you'll see the results. How much exercise did you do a day? So F45 is 45 minute classes. So I would do one in the morning and then if I could, I would do one in the Arvo. So you're actually only working out for about 35 minutes. So it was about 70 minutes of exercise a day. Um, best way to get rid of man boobies. As you can see, I had man boobies. Um, I wanted to get rid of them. That was actually a massive insecurity for me was my man boobs. Um, getting rid of them, I found as I started to lose weight, they started to disappear, but I would recommend running is an easy way to get rid of them. As you start to lose weight, they will disappear. It's just part and parcel of losing weight. Where do you start or like, how do you start? Well, be ready, like be committed. If you're not mentally ready, then you physically won't do it. Keeping at it, massive recommendation. Do you find motivation when you're at your lowest? It's like rocking up to the gym, get your bum there and just just do a workout and you'll feel so much better after you do it. Just get into the gym and just try your best. Even if it's just something small like walking on a treddy, it'll it'll make such a difference over time. Were you insecure about it? I was so insecure about how I looked. Like in this picture, I was at my lowest. Hated how I looked. I was ashamed to have photos taken of me, being in photos. It was, it was terrible. Like I was so low and so upset with how I looked and I just wanted to see change. Was it hard to put muscle on? I didn't try to put muscle on. Um, I find a lot of people do struggle with putting muscle on. In the past, I haven't probably struggled with putting muscle on, but in saying that, my muscle normally can turn to fat as well if I don't be careful with how I do it. What do you do to stay fit? Well, I just continually go to F45, go to the gym. In Corona, it was hard, like not gonna lie. Corona was hard, I didn't get to go to the gym as much and working out at home wasn't as enjoyable. So I have put on a bit of weight. But in saying that, I'm gonna do a four week weight loss challenge on YouTube. If you guys wanna do it with me, I'm gonna vlog four parts of it each week for four weeks. It'll just kind of be like what I eat, how I train, a bit of insight into all that. So just a bit of like tips and tricks for you guys to take on board as well if you wanna do it. How long did it take for you to achieve your transformation? It took me eight weeks. Best tips on changing your diet. Find something that works for you. I got a mate that does keto. That works for him, where keto didn't really work for me. I tried keto a little bit and it was good, but it didn't work for me like it worked for him. Every diet will work for different people, so you just gotta find the one that works for you. What I'm doing right now is just giving you tips on what I did. So you can take on board whatever you want or none of it. What made you the most determined? Well, with my challenge, there was a prize at the end, which was $10,000, and I was pretty determined to win that. Um, but at the same time, I was determined to lose the weight. So in theory, that was a great prize, but that shouldn't be your determination. Your body transformation should be the prize overall. Alrighty, next question. Was that actually you or you, or is that photo Photoshop? No, this photo is actually me. This is actually how I looked. I know it's pretty bad, but yeah, that's how I looked. Um, that's how I used to look, you could say. But yeah, that, that was me. Best supplements. I actually didn't use supplements. I'm not a supplements person. Probably can't recommend any because yeah, I didn't use any. I don't think you need to use them. Um, but if you wanna use them, that's up to you. But yeah, I didn't use any. Did you do a lot of running to lose weight? Yeah, I would recommend running. Running is sick. Um, did your tattoos change at form change form at all during your weight loss journey? They actually didn't. Probably in the spots that I have them, um, they didn't change form, but there's probably some spots if I did have a tattoo, they might have changed. I don't have any on my stomach, um, so maybe if I had one there, it might have changed, but my, the ones on my arms didn't change at all. And I know that apparently tattoos will change form, uh, but mine didn't. How many calories did you have a day? I didn't really track my calories um, to a T, 
but I was having approximately under 1300 calories a day. How do you deal with not seeing fast change? Not seeing fast change is normal. Like I didn't see fast change for quite a while mentally. There probably is changes, but your like your eyes aren't seeing them, but there is changes. And if you aren't seeing changes fast, just keep at it. Just keep trying and you, the, the changes will happen. I didn't want to make this video too long, uh, but I had heaps of questions. So I just wanted to try and address all the different questions that I could. But thanks heaps for watching. If you want to be a part of this challenge that I'm doing in a few weeks, just click that subscribe button and I'll keep you up to date with what I'm what I'm getting up to. We're posting weekly videos every few days. Um, so yeah, just thanks heaps for listening. I hope this helps in some way and inspires you to get out there and just, I wanted to share my story with you guys in the hopes to inspire someone to, to do what I did and get off their bum and work hard to, to make a difference. Um, so thank you and I'll see you in the next video.